Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video and today I have a really exciting deck for you guys. This deck has been pretty highly requested I'd say so. It's gonna be the Malmar here with the Ancient Trait here, the, the Stop Ancient Trait here. Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon. Pretty cool. 90 HP so you can search with it with the level ball. It's got the really cool ability here, Contrary. Like, you know, on the contrary, um, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever your opponent flips a coin during his or her turn, treat it as tails. That's any coin during their turn. So that means uh, coin flips in between phases don't count because that's technically in between phases. I believe that's the actual ruling. So if you're playing this in Expanded, you use Hypnotoxic Laser and then, you know, they're poisoned or something like that. Um, but, the, you know, yeah, anything they do, they flip, they try to use Super Scoop Up, it's tails. They try to use, I don't know... Something, it's tails, right? Uh, I mean, okay, so here's the thing. We got the uh, attack conform here uh, for one energy and a DCE. You hit for 40, pretty weak. If uh, you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Now, uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna try our best to try to pull that off. I don't exactly have the right resources to do that in this deck profile. You can definitely swap out pieces to get the right mixture. But for the most part, from my playtesting, this deck profile, this deck list right here, you can actually, more often than not, get your hand size to be the same as your opponent. Just just saying. Um, but hitting for conform for 40 is pretty weak. Uh, of course, you're going to add a muscle band. You can hit it for 60. But since, you know, we are going to be adding this to Evolutions, this card is a stage one. We can add it to Evolutions. We are on an Evolution marathon. Uh, Jolteon here, 90 HP, right? Uh, easy to find with level ball. Electric effect makes your Malamar an electric type. Uh, Vaporeon makes your Pokemon a stage one Pokemon. A Aqua effect that makes it a water type. Uh, we have Flare effect here with Flareon, 90 HP. Search for level ball. It can make your stage one Pokemon, your Malamar here, a fire type and so that means we have four type uh four types on the malamar and there there's a certain number of cards out there that are weak to you know dark pokemon um i mean pumpkin boo is weak to dark pokemon <laughs> um we have two Shaman X for setup and Sky Return, but that's it for the deck. Very straightforward. Uh we're gonna try to get Malamar going and power him up. So uh and again being able to hit for 60 times two, 120 Certainly uh, will be a two-hit knockout, but much, much better than, um, you know, uh, a three-hit knockout or something. And without the muscle band, you're only hitting for 80, and you're for battling against most EXs. 80 twice will only get you 160, so that muscle band is pretty crucial. Being able to hit for, you know, that 60 times two, hitting for 120 is a big deal uh, with the weakness. But yeah, again, level ball, being able to search for most of the cards out here. We got uh, three level balls. Professor's Letter, uh, definitely got to be able to search out for your uh, basic energies. Uh, definitely could swap out Professor's Letter for some other things, but I did play, the thing is, I did play Professor's Letter because it does trade you one card for two. For example, if you want to match up exactly the number of cards that your opponent has, uh, you know, Professor's Letter can get you more cards that way too. Uh, and then you can always play one of those energies or something like that, you know, I don't know. Uh, Sacred Ash, uh, got Switch here, uh, Ultra Ball, VS Seeker, um, and that's it for the item cards. Two Ultra Balls, VS Seekers, we're going to rely mostly on the level balls. Again, the Ultra Ball can discard your hand, downsize your hand, and match up the number of cards that your opponent has. So there's that too. Uh, Ace Trainer, I think there could be opportunities to play Ace Trainer in here. Uh, AZ to pick up the Shaman EX, uh, mostly for that. Uh, you never know when you might you need AZ for certain scenarios too. Uh, two Lysanders, three uh, Professor Birch's Observations, and... Uh, Three Sycamore as well as Shauna, and I think that's it. We do have Shadow Circle here to protect us from weakness, uh, like fighting types. Uh, muscle Band, again, I already mentioned three Muscle Bands, and uh, a couple of these Dangerous Energies here. Three danger Dangerous Energies, four DCEs, and four regular energies. Now, again, if we're running into Aegislash, we're going to have to commit a lot of basic energies onto this Malamar. I uh, definitely could, I could see us switching out perhaps the Ace Trainer for the Hex Maniac to deal with that. That way we can shut off the ability uh, from uh, the Aegislash, but we will be shutting off our own ability too, so that's a big bummer there. Uh, so that's always kind of the risky thing. And then we're also shutting off our abilities here as well from our Flareon and things like that. So there's always those kind of scenarios. But that's it for the deck. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, and looks like we'll be playing against Nolan877. When I think of Nolan, I think of One Piece. There was that Nolan the Liar guy. Uh, no? Anyone remember that? 
Nobody? Okay, fine. All right, so it looks like my opponent has chosen heads, and we'll be getting to go first. We see a grass coin right there. We're going to start off mulling again. We do get the NK here, and we also have an Eevee there as well. Uh, let's take a look here. We could potentially go for an upside-down evolution in our turn, too. We can try to see if we can do a confusion wave, maybe. Uh, see if we can pull that off. Uh, here is our Eevee. We'll play that down to the bench. My opponent is going to be going first. We can still see my opponent play Escape Rope or Lysander, bring the Eevee in the next spot. That's gonna, not going to be the best scenario, but ooh, we see a Risen there. My opponent brings out a Dratini. That's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be seeing a Dragonite deck, that's for sure. Uh, my opponent does not have um, weakness that we have. Uh, I think he'll be weak against fairies. Uh, at least we can take advantage of the Risen here, weak of, against fire. Oh, man, here comes a Wally. My opponent's going to be able to bring out that uh, Dragtini, uh, evolve into the Dragonair right away. Here's the Dragonair again, being weak to fairy. We don't have any fairy Pokemon. Oh, that's a little disheartening. But uh, yeah, that's it. My opponent uh, gets those guys going and passes the turn. Uh, we're going to go for the Professor Birch's observation. And whew, we do get a Shaman there. We can play the Energy. Might as well play the Muscle Band. Could play the uh, Professor's Letter uh, for nothing and then draw on some more cards. We have an Ace Trainer that we can probably not use right now. <laughs> Let's just discard that. We have the VS Seeker. Let's get rid of the Sean as well. What I want to do is uh, get another Inkay going. If my opponent does so happen to knock out this Inkay, at least we have one backed up. Let's go for the Confusion Way and maybe see if we can uh, keep my opponent confused for now. Good thing there's no such thing as a Risen EX in the standard format. Here's another Dragonair. My opponent can actually evolve into the Dragonite, and that's going to be very... Oh, oh, no. Here's the Double Dragon Energy. My opponent is just getting everything going here on his side of the field. And uh, again, my opponent won't be able to hopefully attack if he flips tails on the coin flip. And uh, if we can evolve, that would be great. Uh, we see an evil soda. My opponent's going to get the Dragonite out now. Oh, man. Dragonite plus double Dragon Energy. Oh, it's that Dragonite. It's the ancient trait Delta Plus right here. Being able to take another prize card. Ooh, good thing for us. Our main attackers and most of our supporting cast are one prize card. So besides the Shaman, my opponent can actually take three prizes off the Shaman. Here's another Wally. Oh, no. My opponent is out uh, without a hand, though. Think about that. Look at that. No hand. Uh, we All we see is a confused Virizion and two Delta Traits. Uh... Um, what is it? Uh, Dragon Knights. So, here we go. We can probably start attacking. Our opponent is without a hand. Uh, let's go for the... It doesn't matter. My opponent's already confused. We'll get the flare effect going here. We can probably... Let's we'll knock out that uh, Vrizian in one shot. Start applying some pressure against my opponent. And my opponent's without a hand, so... Uh, won't be able to power up that Dragon Knight anytime soon. Uh, let's grab another Eevee. Maybe let's go for the Inke, actually. Gotta keep getting these guys lined up. Getting all these attackers. Let's go for the Conform. Hint for 120. Knocking out the Vrizian. Poor, poor Verizian. Now, again, we need to see if we can put our hand size down or nothing. If we can do that, we can put this Dragon Knight in a confused state and uh, take advantage of that, uh, of all these coin flips. And again, my opponent will need a lot of energies to power up that uh, heavy impact. Five energy cards. It's going to take at least two turns. We can see another dragon, double dragon energy, and maybe like a lightning or maybe a grass energy. Uh, other, otherwise, my opponent can still use his first attack, and uh, that, that could... Uh, yeah, start energy accelerating. Oh, wow, my opponent top decked a Sycamore. Professor Sycamore to the rescue for my opponent, being able to draw a ton of cards. Again, uh, what was that, Wrapped in the Wind or something like that? Can uh, help energy accelerate. My opponent did not have the uh, Lightning Energy, so chose to play a Grass Energy onto the Dragon Knight on the bench. We see another Verizon over there. You can see more bailouts, perhaps. My opponent can grab more things. Here's an Ultra Ball, probably going for a Shaman, drawing in some more cards. We see two Lysanders in the discard pile. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's going to be pretty scary. Again, we can see a lot of VS Seekers. Nope, never mind. No Shaman. Just the Dragtini. And uh, my opponent's going to probably try to get for a third Dragon Knight. That's going to be very intense. Uh, we can probably play the DC over here and another Muscle Band. Hopefully my opponent does not play... Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, yeah, start on Megaphones or something like that. But we couldn't confuse this Dragon Knight. It doesn't really matter. My opponent... Uh, doesn't have a lightning energy unless we see it now. My opponent can still play lightning. Oh, here's a training center countering our stadium. That's pretty good. That way we can counter his stadium too and maybe play our hand size down to one card. That would be great. Oh, perfect. We even have a, an ultra ball. We can just uh, probably ultra ball for nothing. Oh, for one card. Play down the dangerous energy and uh, and then play the ultra ball for a shaman and leave the shaman in our hand, um, you know, for the next turn. Uh 
Or, I don't know. Well, we got rid of the Ducks and Energy, so let's just let's go for the Shaman here. Let's just use the Sacred Ash and keep the Shaman this way. Uh, you know, I think playing the Darkness Energy may have been pretty good, but um, let's just go ahead. We'll go with this. My opponent is now confused. We do have a Shaman available to us. Um, you know, and I think, you know, we, we should be able to get some more energies. Um, and uh, I'm not too worried about that. Definitely, I think playing the dark, the dangerous energy might have been really, uh, maybe been the better, better choice, perhaps. Uh, but let's just go ahead. We'll just knock out this uh, Dragon Knight again. Uh, oh man, we are at two cards now. My opponent's also at two cards. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't play anything. Uh, the heavy impact will knock out the Malmar. But if we play our our Malmar on the bench, that's all ready, set, ready to go. Uh, we should be able to just put this Dragon Knight in a confused state again. Oh, my opponent is down one card we are you know we got a shauna we could probably play a shauna i could try playing a shauna i could probably go for the shaman um let's go for the shaman and ooh, we got a double switch uh we do have the dangerous energy uh we can i don't know uh what i want to do okay we can double switch we'll have we'll keep three cards in our hand like that let's go ahead and hit for the 60 put this dragon knight in a confused state the Dragon Knight's gonna just keep hurting himself from here on out unless he retreats. Pay four retreat costs. That is huge. Oh, never mind. We see the uh, max power or whatever uh, healing uh, Dragon Knight over there. My opponent plays a double Dragon Energy on that Dragon Knight. We see a Professor Birch's observation. You know, I think my opponent played that Dragon Knight a little bit too soon because uh, we're only hitting for 60. You know, we're gonna at best hit for 120 in two turns. And my opponent could have healed that way. Probably could have bought himself another turn. But he opted to play right away. And, uh,. That's the way it is. Well, my opponent hits itself. All right. As expected. Flipping tails. Flipping tails. That's that's all right. Let's go ahead. We're going to play the Shauna. Ooh, that's no good. Oh, man. Now we have to deal with a uh, really nasty hand uh, in terms of trying to match up with my opponent. But my opponent does have four cards right now. If we're able to knock out this Dragonite in the next turn, uh, we should be able to confuse that Dragonite. We really need to get another Malamar on the bench. Uh, we have the Inke ready to go. And, uh, yeah, looks like, and that's it. My opponent confuses himself one more time. We should be able to knock him out. And right here, we'll take care of business. I'm going to play the energy on the Shaman in case we need to retreat with the Shaman. We don't have the Jolteon, a uh, free retreat Jolteon anymore. So, um, oh, hey, there's an Eevee. All right, so here comes the Dragon Knight. Can hit us with a mock, um, something rather. It was a mock press. Oh, ooh, here is the Professor Birch's observation. Flip him for only four cards. A Starling Megaphone. Uh, I should have expected that. And uh, looks like we will, uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't have a Professor Birch of our own. My opponent does flip two tails, of course, uh, because of our uh, ability. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to promote the Shaman. That way we do have that free retreat. Uh, here's a couple of... Sh uh, we can play an Eevee there. I do have a Dangerous Energy, but I don't exactly need that. Uh, we have a DCE available to us. So what I really want to do is match up with my opponent, but I can't exactly do that now, can I? Uh, so I think the, uh, the Shaman here might just have to take a hit and um, go on from there. Uh, I could retreat into the Shaman uh, with the DCE, and that way we can use Sky Return uh, and just kind of remove all those damage counters, but um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, or we could just Sky Return right now. Well, why not? Put some 30 damage on there. Uh, my opponent is at 140. We can put it down to 130. We'll let my opponent take out the Eevee. Um... I don't know that I don't know how because my opponent does have a muscle band. It can hit for a hundred damage on this. My my shaman X probably would have been able to survive, but at any rate, what I really want to do, I'll let, I'll sacrifice the Eevee. Um, what I really want to do is bring out the Malamar uh, without needing to pay another energy to retreat. Um, you know that that'd be the DC. And oh, perfect! My opponent plays a Sycamore. Now my opponent's at seven cards. We have seven cards. My opponent plays down a Latios EX. Latios EX could see a fast raid. Um, but my opponent's at six cards, and we can easily match that up right now. My opponent's with six cards, a mock press, sitting for, you know, it doesn't matter, it knocks out the EV anyways. My opponent's at two prizes here. Uh, we certainly can uh, deal with the Dragon Knight. I uh, definitely want to hang on to these Lysanders. Um, what I want to do is maybe play the EV. Uh, definitely don't want to play another, I don't know, we could play another Shaman. We have seven cards right now. Could play the, uh, um... The uh, double, 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 double colors energy, but again, since we were at seven cards, my opponent's at seven cards, we wanted to keep the same number. Able to put that confusion on the Dragon Knight. This Dragon Knight's going to keep hitting himself to sleep. And uh, here is a Wally. My opponent gets another Dragon Knight going. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 
Um, well, not really. It doesn't get another Dragonite, but can get another Dragonite going in the next turn. So that's something to look out for. Here is the Confused uh, Dragonite. Ja that Dragonite is one confused Pokemon. All right. Um, so I'm not too concerned. We can go for the Professor Birch's observation. We do flip tails. Um, again, we do have a Lysand in hand. Uh, we have Via Seeker available to us. We can, I guess, we can evolve again. Uh, but you know at this point we're just gonna knock it out uh, knock what I really wanted was another Inke though uh, That's why we play. Oh my goodness. There's the Inke here. Ooh, this is gonna be troubling uh, Does my opponent evolve into the Dragonite or are we just gonna get hit with a uh, slash whatever if we do both? It's gonna be tails my opponent's not gonna be able to hit for 120. Oh, no here comes the Dragonite The Dragonite's gonna be able to hit us for 80. We will survive the turn. We don't see a muscle band there and uh, at the very least we'll survive the turn so <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Okay, here is the... Oh, my opponent decks out! Oh, my goodness. We may be able to win it this way with just uh, having my opponent deck out. Oh, no, my opponent will knock out the Malamar. We'll take the win, though. We did get the Inke here. Uh, with the... Actually, wait, with the Tranks in it, we survive. It doesn't matter. My opponent's going to lose in the next turn. We'll just hit for the Conform. We're both at... Uh, might as well, I'm gonna keep the Inke, hit for the Conform. My opponent's confused. We'll let it finish like that. What a way to wrap up the match. <laughs> <laughs> confusing, confusing my opponent one last time on the contrary and uh, just confusing him one more time right there. Oh, that Malamar. What a jokester. What a joke. I'm just kidding. He's not quite a joke, but uh, still, we're able to pull off the win. That was pretty funny. That was pretty exciting. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and play another match here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, and we're gonna be playing against Chief Wood. It is a metal and psychic and colorless deck. Chief Wood here will have the opportunity to flip for heads or tails. We do see Chief Wood with the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Hoopa EX uh, sleeves. All right, so we get the opportunity to go first. That is great. That way we can evolve first. Okay, so we're starting off with an Eevee. That's exactly not not exactly the best way to start this off. But we do have a Ultra Ball here, which we can go for a Shaman perhaps. Oh, we see a Mill Tank. I don't know where it's going to go. I think this is going to be a machine stop deck. Uh, that means we're going to need to get the Flare on at some point. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab the Inke here. I'm going to go for the Professor Birch's Observation. And we get more Inkes. Oh, great. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. Well, at least this Mill Tank won't be able to hit us for, at best, 30 damage. I mean, he will be able to hit us at best 30 damage. Um, uh, and actually... Best case scenario for us is he hits for nothing uh, without an energy drop. So we got Sycamore available to us, Lysander available to us. Got a lot of, uh, you know, if we get a VS Seeker, we got a lot of options. Uh, depends on what happens. We see a Trainer's Mail for my opponent on his side of the field. Uh, got to wait and see uh, if my opponent does play a Muscle Band, does play energy. We see the Deoxys there. Here is an energy drop on the powerful friend's Mill Tank, hitting us for only 10 damage. And looks like that's it. We're going to spread. I think I'm going to play the energy. Could play on the Inke on the left, but we're gonna we're gonna spread the wealth. Uh, definitely, kind of wish. Um, I I think I'm just gonna let the the EV tank. Uh, certainly, I could have played the energy on the EV and treated the EV, uh, but it doesn't matter. The EV's gonna go down anyways. Um, and yeah, so. Even if that happened, I don't know how. I, I, you never know what could have happened. But hey, we get the uh, we get the Malamar there. That's great. That's good stuff. We got you know we even get the Muscle Band. We could probably play it on this Malamar here. Don't have the DCE, but we can spread the energy. Play it onto that um, uh, Inke on the bench, and uh, let's go for the. Oh no, that was a misplay. Oh no, gosh, we didn't need the Vaporeon. Oh man, what we needed was the Flareon. Oh, misclicked right there. No, 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 huge misclick. That's okay. Actually, you know what? We can play the Sycamore and discard the Vaporeon. And that way, maybe never get to see the Vaporeon ever again. All right, let's go with that. We do get hit for 60. Uh, we have an Ultra Ball there. Ah, this works pretty well. We can play the Ultra Ball. Now we can get the Flareon and a hit for weakness on the uh, Machine Gun Stomp over there. We do get another Malamar right now. We miss out on the DCE, but we can play here. We miss out on the DCE and again. Oh, uh, man. Our Malamar will go down. That's a little bit disappointing. But uh, that's just the way it is. We uh, we do have an opportunity to play Ace Trainer here. Put my opponent down to four cards. That's going to come very convenient for us. Because my opponent's going to need a lot of cards in his hand to be able to do Machine Gun Stop from the Metagross. Oh, there's the Rare Candy into the Metagross. That's the Ancient Trait Metagross. Being able to have two tool cards on him. And we get hit for 80 again. Oh, man. Well, not really again. Um... 
well, we get knocked out. Uh, we got hit for 80 because my opponent was able to use powerful friends. But hey, here we go. We can go ahead and finally we got this here. Uh, playing the Ace Trainer, putting my my opponent down to three cards. Let's get the Malamar out here. We can um, see. We can play the VEV. Now we can confuse the Mill Tank. The Mill Tank's confused. If he tries to attack, it will be Tails. Uh, hopefully my opponent doesn't read the ability, the, on the contrary, ability. And so uh, we see the mill tank here will get knocked out in the next turn unless he retreats. Uh, I'm expecting my opponent to retreat. Here's a roller skates. Oh, thank goodness. It was tails. Oh, man. Oh, man. If I, my opponent flipped heads, he would be in that six. And then he could have retreated. Could have slapped on a muscle band. He could have been at five. You know, uh, I don't know. You never know what could have happened. My opponent could have played another, another uh, roller skates for all I know. Oh, look at that! And he confuses himself, and that's it. So you know what? We could actually, um, hmm, we could actually VS Seeker bring out the uh, machine gun stop, uh, or we could probably just end the. Uh, no, we definitely don't want to end the turn. Uh, but you know, it's, I want to draw some more cards. And what I really want is the DCE to get the Malamar on the bench ready to go. Uh, I don't want to miss a beat with the energy drops. But we didn't get the energy. I'm going to keep the VS Seekers uh, available to us. Um, it doesn't matter. The Machine Gun Stomp's going to come out anyways. So might as well get rid of that Mill Tank while we still could. Um, certainly, we could have gone with the Lysander. Uh, maybe we'll go with the Lysander now. My I thought my opponent was going to bring out the uh, um, the Machine Gun Stomp Metagross. But I guess not. My opponent's going to go for a close encounter, drawing some more cards. And all right, this is the part where we're gonna apply some pressure. We got the li well, we don't even need to play VS Seeker. We got the Lysander right here. Uh, could potentially use Sacred Ash. Uh, could use the Muscle Band if we. I kind of want to hang on to the Muscle Band though. But again, we want to match up the number of cards which with the number of cards my opponent has. So we need to see maybe um, maybe playing a Shauna might be better. So you know, let's go with that. Now we're at four cards. Perfect. This way the Deoxys can't play anymore. Uh, certainly we could have gone for the Lysander, but then, you know, it would have been a two-hit knockout on the Machine Gun Stop anyways. Uh, so right now the Deoxys can still retreat. My opponent's got a huge hand size. We got a Malamar on the bench ready to go. Gotta wait and see. Does my opponent retreat? Oh, my opponent counters, uh, uses a Paint Roller. I don't really see Paint Roller. Here's the Roller Skates. Um, again, I think we probably could have gone for the Lysander, bring out the Metagross, uh, and knocked it out. Or not really knocked out. It would have been a two-hit knockout. Uh, would have been able to do 120. The Metagross would have survived. And, uh, you know, eh, you know, I don't know. I, I think to each his own. Could have gone both ways. Um, but <laughs> my opponent, oh, man, my opponent just does that. That's great. Uh, okay, so, you know what? Uh, could go with the Ace Trainer. Could go with the Lysander, too, like I said. But I think I want to disrupt my opponent. Let's just knock out the Deoxys. Uh, my opponent will draw two cards off of the Lucky Helmet, though. That's certainly something to consider. Uh, but you know what? I'll take my chances. My opponent now has... Uh, we'll have six. Uh, the machine gun stomp starts at 20. You know, base damage six. We'll do 80. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll survive the turn. Uh, so again, maybe maybe really just, you know, starting, starting to put apply pressure on the Metagross could have been the route to go. Certainly something... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, with that DCE there, it's pretty scary. You could see machine gun stomp. We see a trainer's mail... Uh, it'll be funny if my opponent didn't get anything. Oh, no. We see a professor's letter. Okay. Well, with the professor's letter, hey, at least we have a Malamar on the bench ready to go. Uh, at any rate, I definitely want to play the level ball. Uh, get the level ball. Get another uh, Inke going. And uh, as of right now, I mean, it looks like my uh, we could definitely go for an ace trainer. Um, if my opponent knocks all the Malamar, we can do ace trainer again. Ace trainer, my opponent down to three. We'll be at six. Uh, and then we can have more options with that. Certainly a route we can take, and we'll be hitting for 120. So, um, yeah, you know, let's see, we see roller skates. My opponent will definitely be able to knock the Malmar without question. Uh, let's see, well, let's see right now we're at, uh, what is that? Uh, ooh, another roller skates. My opponent may be doing himself in right here. Only five cards, no muscle band. Uh, yeah, I think my opponent had a better chance earlier uh, to knock us out, but uh, I'm not sure what's happening right now. And if, oh, never mind, we see a Pokemon fan club. My opponent's going to be able to put some more Pokemon cards in his hand. I uh, can see two more Pokemon. We see a Kangaskhan and a Deoxys right here. Not sure. I mean, we could see an energy drop, could see a switch, could see a triple draw or something like that from the Kangaskhan EX. Um, definitely that could happen. Oh, here's the Muscle Band. So, my opponent hits us for 80. We'll survive the turn. My opponent's down to four cards. Uh, this sounds like a good opportunity to play Ace Trainer. Again, we can still play a Switch. Um, 
But I don't know how I feel about the Switch. Uh, could play for the Shauna. I think the Shauna gives us a better shot at uh, having the exact same hand size. So let's go with that. Uh, might as well. We'll play the Shadow Circle. Why the heck not? Hit 420. Put this guy confused. We could have gone for Sacred Ash, but I want to hang on to that until my opponent knocks out the Malamar. And then we can uh, use Sacred Ash to bring back the Inke and the Malamar. And perhaps some energy in there too. I think we might have some energy in the discard pile. But um, So right now the Machine Gun Stop ain't going to happen. My opponent needs to play a Switch. Oh, we see an Escape Rope. I'll just bring out our Malamar right here, and my opponent will be able to get uh, switch into the uh, King of Scon. We do have VS Seeker, which we can play for the Lysander and knock out that uh, Metagross right there. My opponent's going to go for a triple draw. We'll have a hand size of six. Again, we do have Ace Trainer. I can really be a jerk and just play Ace Trainer. That'd be pretty funny. Put my opponent down to three cards. Uh, again, I could play the, the Lysander, um, but... Uh, you know, it's pretty tempting. Could go with the uh, AZ too, and uh, probably AZ up, uh, Shaman, draw until we have six. And, you know, really, we're just kind of messing around at this point. Could I could definitely finish off that Metagross, but I just want to play around. I just want to mess around and continue to confuse. It's just too funny to confuse. And, again, you guys might be thinking, what the heck are you doing? You can Lysian out the Metagross, but... Why why lie Sarah Mo when you can have some fun? I wanna I wanna just keep using the on on you know the contrary. I, I really wanna abuse contrary. Again, we could have knocked out the Metagross. Um but uh the the King of Scott is gonna be huge to switch out. My opponent can still play a switch, but right there. See, this is why I wanted to do it. That is why I wanted to do it. Oh man, too funny. Okay, well, a huge risk right here. My opponent's going to be able to draw a lot of cards right now. Uh, but again, if we can get another VS Seeker for the Ace Trainer and uh, put my, my opponent down to three cards or something like that. Uh, certainly, I could have, like I said, I, I don't know how many times I can repeat this. I could have knocked out the Metagross by now. But the <laughs> Chief Wood says that ability. Yes, this is why I'm doing this. I, I just, <laughs> I just got, oh yeah, that ability. This is why, you know, again, easily, we could have knocked out that Metagross, but I just want to abuse this ability, man. And I want to see my, I want to see how, I don't know, I don't know why my opponent keeps attacking. Um, okay, he doesn't attack anymore. He learned his lesson. We do have a Lysander now. We can Lysander out the Metagross. Um, you know, and my opponent's got six cards. Uh, we certainly can bring out the Metagross on the right, uh, or we can finish off this King of Scon. Um, Again, the Metagross on the left right there is an easy knockout. Could certainly just bring out the... You know, that's a knockout for a Shaman, you know. Um, that's an easy knockout for the Shaman. Uh, <laughs> opponent asks, is this a new deck? Certainly it is. So right here, we are down to two prizes. And um, so we'll just say, <laughs> my usual, maybe. All right, so there we go. Um, let's see here. We see the uh, DCE right there. We get hit for 100 as expected. Uh, should be able to just knock out the Metagross. Uh, again, it would be a knockout on the, uh, the sh you know, could use the Shaman to knock it out, for all I know. Here's the Inke. All right, that's great. Uh, let's shuffle in these guys right here. Um, might as well bring in the Eevee. And, uh, again, I I'm just messing around way too much. Um, you know, certainly, certainly just messing around. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just go ahead and hit for 40 or 120 uh, because of the muscle band plus the Flareon. And uh, in the next turn, this should be game, or uh, not quite game, but uh, for the most part, I mean, we can see if we can match up my opponent. My opponent plays a Tyranno, uh, so that's going to be a little bit tricky to try to get the number of cards my opponent uh, has in his hand. But uh, all we need to do is get the Malmar and see here. Uh, let's see what it's going to be. Okay, all right, this should work out in our favor. We should be able to put this Metagross in a confused state. And uh, my opponent's going to need to play a Switch to get that out. So let's just bring out the Jolteon. I definitely uh, dragged out this game much longer than I needed to. Uh, so let's get the Malmar. My opponent's got, what is that, eight cards. Uh, we should have the number of cards right there. Eight cards in our hand as well. My opponent, just to double check. One, two, three. All right, all right looks good. Uh, we should just... Uh I mean, if, you know, yeah, I guess we could just Lysander out the... <laughs> Finally, we'll Lysander. Might as well just Lysander. Finish it that way. We'll just tell my opponent, GG. Again, I could have messed around some more. Definitely, I, I was just being a punk this game. Um... <laughs> oh, man. I made it a lot closer than it needed to be. Uh, but certainly, uh, just, just trying to have some fun here. Uh, it took my... I was going to, you know, definitely play to see how long it was going to take for my opponent to realize... Uh, he was flipping tails on all those, on all them flips. Hey, that was my, my rap, Pokemon rap video. Yeah, 
<laughs> Flipping tails on all them flips. Oh, no way. No way. Okay. Uh, I, I know you guys probably thought I misplayed a bunch of times, but again, I was intentional. It was just inten it was definitely intentional trying to mess around and try to see. My opponent flipped eight tails. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Too bad. Too bad. I couldn't get my opponent flipped nine tails. <laughs> nine tails. Get it? Never mind. Um, but certainly had a ton of fun. Oh, man. Way too much fun. I'm. Ah, okay. Well, that's it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for being a part of this channel, being a part of this epic journey. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.